Hey guys, Ethan from Tag Mods here, and these are our Diablo 2 Resurrected builds. The team at Blizzard reached out and asked us to do two builds for Diablo. The first based on the original version of the game from 2000, and the other based on the Resurrected Edition. Both PCs running the exact same hardware, just their aesthetics are different. We have the Aorus X570 Pro Wi-Fi motherboard, 16 gig of the Dark Sea Team Group memory, the 512 gig NVMe Carta Liquid, and the 5900 Ryzen 9. We've also got the 6700 XT from Aorus, the ML360 Illusion water cooler from Cooler Master, and the Cooler Master MWE 1050 watt gold power supply. The whole concept for this build is to show off the in-game mechanic from Diablo 2 Resurrected where you can shift between the old school 2000 graphics and the brand new 2021 Resurrected graphics. So the cream beige build is based off the of 2000 graphics, so we've got a low poly tail, some low poly scales, whereas in the 2021 edition everything's super smooth, a lot more colour depth and just pops a lot more in general, just like the new graphics. So I start at my Piopoli Phenom L and the Elgu Satin to print the tails, some skulls, and the Hordraic Cube. Once each piece comes off the printer, it goes into the isopropyl alcohol in the ultrasonic cleaner, comes out, all the supports get taken off, and then it goes into the UV chamber for curing. With all the fiddly parts printed, I jump over to the laser cutter and etch and cut the logo, as well as the silhouette of Diablo for the front panels. I use different aspects from the Book of Cain to mash together this parchment piece. It features Diablo, Baal and Mephisto, the three major bosses from Diablo 2. Mashed them together, aged and weathered them before printing it on parchment. The original Diablo build needs to be painted so I tear down the case completely pulling out the IO and all the fans so that I can get it ready for the paint booth. Because I want my final result to look like sun-aged 20 year old plastic, I don't sand between my layers of primer before laying on my final colour. The beige doesn't coat super well so I ended up needing like 5 or 6 coats to get nice coverage. But this also allowed the paint to crackle in through to the primer giving me that age effect I was after. The parchment side panels were far too shiny, so I hit them with a bunch of acrylic washes, set them on fire, hit them with different colours of spray paint, and just kind of abused them until I was happy with the aged result. Even after all that though, I wasn't super stoked with the result, so I did revert to doing the full weathering edit in Photoshop and reprinting it on vinyl and wrapping the panels. With both cases now ready for hardware, I could prep my motherboards with the SSD, CPU and RAM, before getting them all in the cases and building out the rest of the PC. To prep the front panels for the resin pour, I had used silicon to fill all the gaps because I wanted to preserve the airflow as much as possible because the main three fans for the intake of the all-in-one cooler are at the front, so they need to work. I painted quite a heavy coat of paint on the back end of the tail and stamped it on a piece of HDPE to give me a nice silhouette of the rear footprint of the tail. Then I took it to the bandsaw and cut it out. So resin doesn't stick to HDPE, which is why we needed these little blanks. So I could glue those to the Diablo silhouettes. So once we have resin poured on top, It'll leave a perfect keyed hole for the tail to come back in and lock into later. I 
I used hot glue to hold down the logo and the Diablo silhouette just so they wouldn't float in the resin and then poured a simple color palette of just clear orange and clear yellow for the 2000 Diablo version while adding a bunch of mica powders into the 2021 version to add a lot more depth into the portal and just create a lot more color and vibrance. All the little skulls that had to be hand painted, I used an Ushu bone colour from 40k. The tail received a similar treatment. The old school 2000s tail got a very basic paint job with minimal shadowing and detailing. Whereas the 2021 tail got a whole bunch more detail, a bunch more layers and weathering and depth in that paint job. With the resin set, I use a stepper drill to make a hole in the HDPE that I can get my chisel in to pry it out nice and easily. I clean up all the hot glue that was there and we have a nice perfect keyed hole for our tail. I then pop the front panel out, take it over to the sander and pull it down to as close to the plastic as possible as well as beveling all the edges to make sure we maintain that airflow we talked about earlier. The Diablo logo then had to be sanded nice and flat so we had a contrast between the black acrylic and the resin. We didn't quite get the result we wanted so I reprinted the logo on vinyl and wrapped that piece instead. The front panels could then go back in. Onto the life and mana orbs. I got some 10mm clear acrylic and carved an 8mm circle out of each piece before taking it over to the laser cutter and cutting out the external profile of both the life and mana orbs. I mix up two separate batches of resin. One I dye red and the other I dye blue. These then go into the vacuum chamber to degas to make sure we get a nice clear pour. I pour the 2000s Diablo Matter and Life Orbs first to make sure they're nice and clear and just that simple one basic colour like they were in the original game. I then add mica powder to the remaining resin to give that resin extra depth and colour for the 2021 version of the Life and Matter Orbs so they just have that bit more pop. With that resin dry, we could apply all the vinyl. One's a super high res image and the other's been heavily pixelated in Photoshop. We put them on their matching Diablo build and that's our Life and Manor Orbs done. These get sticked in on the power supply shroud. With that, that's pretty much our builds. So let's get into the B-roll. <laughs> 